Hi guys, Dane here and welcome to another weekly reading vlog. It is currently about quarter past nine on Sunday the 27th of February. I am currently reading Of Myths and Mothers which is a short story anthology by Fly on the Wall uh, Press sent to me by Isabel Kenyon, so thank you Isabel. I'm enjoying it so far. I am gonna do a review, although I don't have a huge amount to say about it, but um, I'm enjoying it in general. It's very well written. I'm enjoying the different settings and getting to know the different authors as well. Um, and then after that, I think I'm gonna read The Andromeda Strain by Michael Crichton. And I'm also sitting, hey Biggie, and I'm also sitting here watching Rosemary's Baby, because I read the book of it not long ago. So that's where we're at. Tomorrow I need to try and get someone out to look at my boiler. And have a call as well in the evening, so we'll just crack on with that, I suppose. Dane reads. Hello, it is Monday the 28th of February, about quarter to eight in the evening. Uh, I slept for most of the day. I missed quite an important call that I had earlier, so that's not good. Um, I'm feeling very unclean because I still have no work in hot water. I've called the boiler people, they're gonna come on Thursday to hopefully fix it, but it is gonna cost me 400 quid. However, it's gonna be taken out monthly over the next 12 months, and during that time, I'll be covered should any further work be required, so that's good at least. Um, I finished reading um, Of Myths and Mothers by Fly on the Wall Press, that was a four out of five. I'm now reading The Andromeda Strain by Michael Crichton. Not gonna lie, it's quite dated, especially when it comes to the technology aspects of it. Um, and there's a character in it who was 60 and who'd served in the First World War, so I'm like, bloody hell. Bloody hell. Um, so I guess it's set in the late 50s, early, well, it's got to be late 50s, uh, most recent, I guess. Because he was an officer in the army as well. But anyway, it's alright, I'm going to watch the movie of it soon. I watched the movie of Rosemary's Baby yesterday, that was quite good, I did enjoy that. Um, so yeah, filming wise, I have some updates on my short story review, just got to finish that off. Got to start my Michael Crichton review, got to take some photos for eBay, I've got to edit tomorrow's radio show. And other than that, that's about it. Um, I am due tomorrow at noon to be going to get um, some work done on this tattoo here, my IT tattoo. Basically, it's just a little bit uh, patchy in a few places, so I just wanted to go over that. I'm hoping it'll only take an hour or so. Um, so we'll see how that goes and um, I don't know she might want to do some highlights and stuff as well We'll see what she wants to do with it um, But yeah, I also have my cleaner coming tomorrow So I need to text her and be like I might not be in I can leave her out a key though, so that'll be all right um, And then on Wednesday I am collecting my curtains for the kitchen which have been done um, And I should also be able to find out my blood test results Then I think I'm sure there's something happening on Thursday that I need to remember as well It's not coming to my, oh, there's a Q&A call for a client, that's about it. Um, it's pancake day tomorrow, so I might make some vegan pancakes, we will see, we'll see how I feel. Um, I need to try and get some more paint for the garden. I got some compost in the post today as well, so I can go out and plant some of the stuff that I have that's ready to go out. So that's very exciting, so that will be jobs for tomorrow if I'm awake in the daytime. I found out the, the fence to that side, the guy wants me to pay half of it, I'm basically going to have to pay half of it because I think my current landlord bought the existing fence, so the fact that he wants to pay half of it actually is better than he's done in the past, so there's that. Uh, next up I'm going to read The Vegetarian by Han Kang, uh, I've been listening to some more of my audiobook of John Steinbeck as well, I've now got probably about 5 hours to go on that um, and it's been about 30 hours long so I've made good progress uh, east of Eden. And that's, I think that's all I've got for you, um, yeah. Anybody want to buy a bunch of ladybird books? You're going on me eBay. Hello, people of the internet. It is currently 5 to, uh, 5 to 11, sorry, on Saturday the 5th of March. I've been sleeping for most of the day. I guess I needed it. I've slept for about 14, 15 hours today. Um, I've just been exhausted. I can't remember what I was reading last time I, I chatted to you guys, but I mean, I have a stack down here for review. So I have The Andromeda Strain by Michael Crichton, which I'm actually currently watching the movie of. I previously watched the like 1970s version of it, so now I'm watching the 2008 version. It's got the guy who plays Captain Holt in Brooklyn Nine-Nine. He's, he's in it, so that's kind of cool. Um, but yeah, that book was like a 3.5 out of 5, it was okay. Uh, we have Strange Meeting by Susan Hill, another 3.5 out of 5. It is a First World War story, um, which kind of investigates, like, love 
between two men, but it's not necessarily gay, but you could read it in a gay way. It's kind of up to you. Um, but it sort of tells the story of their fate during the war. So the war is very much the backdrop of it. Um, but it's clear that she's done her research as well. Yes, Biggie, I know. Cat's been meowing all day. I don't know why. Um, then I read The Vegetarian by Han Kang. That was like a three out of five. It was okay. I'm, I filmed a review of it. Um, it was trying to say something and I'm still not really sure what it was trying to say. But I don't, I don't know. It didn't seem very complimentary of vegetarianism or veganism. And I'm, I'm team vegan. But um, it sort of implied that at least some of the characters, maybe not the author, but some of the characters in it who granted were awful people. But they sort of seem to imply that the only reason you'd be a vegetarian would be if you have um, like mental health issues. And like the guy went through a list of reasons why you might be vegetarian and not once did like animal rights factor into it. It's like, oh, well, you might be trying to lose weight or get rid of evil spirits. It's like, no, mate, no, I just don't like what happens to animals in factory farms. I've written a novel about it. You can read it, Meat by Dane Cobain. Go check it out. So, yeah, there was that. I'm now currently reading Airframe by Michael Crichton, which is interesting because basically it's about like the airline industry and what happens after accidents and all of this stuff. Um, but I recently watched, I think it was just called Downfall. It was a documentary on Netflix about Boeing anyway. Um, and this ties in quite nicely to that, especially because Crichton does all of his research. Now, granted, it is years old, so a lot of the technical stuff is a little bit out of date. Um, but it's just interesting, you know? Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm currently working through that. That's pretty good. I made loaded fries yesterday. Um, I was thinking about going to see my friend's band and then just stayed in and made really delicious food instead. I posted a TikTok actually. I'll link to my TikTok below in case you want to go watch uh, and follow that. And yeah, so now I'm awake. I'm not that awake, to be honest. So I don't know how much longer I'm actually going to stay up, but I'm going to do some work for a little while, watch some more of the Andromeda Strain. I've been watching as well, I've been watching Jack Septic. I play Bloodborne, which is his favourite game. I know it's quite an old game, but I never played it, so it's interesting watching his playthrough of it, because obviously he's a huge fan of it and he knows all the lore and all of that stuff. So that's been pretty good. And that's where I'm at. Um, I haven't done too much filming or editing, as you can tell by the fact it's been days since I did my last video update. I've got my boiler fixed, so that's good news. So I've got some washing on at the moment. So the next two major projects, and really they're the last two that need doing, one of them is to fix the fence panels that blew down outside in the storm, and the other one is to replace my windows because the windows have blown, so they've got like crap in between the two layers. So um, the neighbour, the guy who lives on that side of me, he's looking into the fence panels and I've sent out some inquiries about the, uh, like to various uh, glaziers and whatnot. So we'll see how that goes. And money wise, I'm actually not terrible. I'm still very much living in my overdraft, but for the, well, since I paid my tax in like February, maybe January even, I've, yeah, it was January. I've just been maxed out in my overdraft. So now I've actually clawed a little bit of that back. So that's nice. And I think that's all I've got for you. I might do an update tomorrow. I might not, we will see. Oh, hello everybody. It is five to 10 on Monday, the 7th of March. I have been quite anxious today. Um, I had a few calls, so that's possibly partly why, but yeah, I just had the shakes and the head dizzies and all of that stuff. So that's not good. I try to drink lots of water to stay hydrated. Um, the good news is I got the test results back from my doctor and there's nothing wrong with my shit or my blood. So that's something. Um, I've been spending the last few days kind of doing a bit of marketing stuff, trying to get the ball rolling with my books because I've let that sort of fall by the wayside. I'm actually hiring a virtual assistant to carry out some blogger outreach for me. So that's very cool. Um, in terms of what I've been reading, I finished reading uh, Airframe, so that was pretty good, like 3.5 out of 5, full review coming soon. Then I finished reading uh, Classical Music According to Stephen Fry by Stephen Fry. That one I gave a 2.5 out of 5 for. It was okay, there was some interesting information in there, it's just the writing style was a big turn off. Um, which I find just seems to happen with Fry when he writes non-fiction, for whatever reason. Um, in this one, the big thing that was annoying me was that he was putting little smiley faces next to his jokes so that you knew they were jokes, and I'm kind of like, if you have to do that, then they're obviously not very good jokes, are they, you know? So, 
Yeah, I didn't much enjoy that. And I'm now reading Deep Down There by Ollie Jacobs, which is an indie book about a giant hole in a gated community. And it kind of follows the people in that community as they investigate what caused the hole and what's at the bottom. So I'm enjoying it so far. I'm about two thirds of the way through. Probably finish that tomorrow. Tried to do a jog a minute ago to um, listen to some more of East of Eden by John Steinbeck, but I'm just too dizzy and just too anxious. So it wasn't really happening, unfortunately. Um, so I'll try to do that tomorrow. I mean, the good news is that pretty much all of my housework is done. So all I need to do is I need to trim my beard and have a shower. That's it for this evening. I've got some exercise left to do. So sit-ups, squats and press-ups and my jogs as well. But obviously as I'm feeling a bit janky at the moment, I'm probably not going to do any exercise today. I'll do the rest of that tomorrow. Um, and so I've been doing my computer bits. I've got some more header images to make. I need to update my media kit. I need to restart my review templates. And I need to look at some spoilers for Hunter Killer because I'm stuck on that. Writing wise, what we got? Print some stuff because I have to print for my phone. Update my journal. A few uh, biggie things to post to Instagram. Um, and then I've got to work on the story for Regina who's doing a new anthology. I've got my memoirs to work on and then I've got my Tamworth novel which I haven't made any progress on for like two years. So I need to get cracking with that as soon as I can. Um, I keep being into and just never getting around to it. So that's, that's what's going to happen. And as I say I feel fucking awful. Like, uh, not going to lie, I feel like I'm about to pass out at any moment. I wonder if it's maybe because I had some weird sleep, so I didn't go to sleep till like 5 a.m. Um, so I don't know, that's probably not helping. But yes, that is where I'm at. I'm going to have some more water. Anyway, such is life. Um, other than that, I'm doing okay. My tattoo is still healing, but it's getting there. I've done a bit of editing. I'm going to go and do some more because I did an interview with a guy called Tom Veck who does comedy songs. So uh, I interviewed him earlier and he's going to be the next guest on the radio. Yeah, I got eight hours of seven, eight hours, 17 minutes sleep. It's just that that was between half five and half three. But I'll have an earlier night tonight because as I say, I feel like shit. So yeah, just trying to keep on keeping on and not have the horrors too much. But on that note, I'm going to love you and leave you. So as always, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books and if so, what you thought of them. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit that subscribe button for more and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.